Hi, in this tutorial I'll explain subsurface scattering in Unity 6. This technique is also compatible with earlier versions. In this scene I've set up a point light and included a head model with its textures. Let's add it to the scene. Subsurface scattering enhances the model by simulating light transmission, enabling the light to pass through thin parts of the surface. This effect enhances realism and is particularly useful for surfaces like human skin. Here I'm using four texture tiles. Using multiple tiles helps achieve higher texture quality. Let's create a material. Ensure that HDRP and the lit shader are selected. First, I need to assign the textures, starting with tile 1. Afterward, I'll assign the material to the model. I need to adjust the smoothness. As you can see, the skin looks unrealistic in these areas. In reality, the skin doesn't appear like this. In this case, I'll use subsurface scattering. The first step is to change the material type. Switch the material type to subsurface. Now I need to assign a profile. This system requires a separate file known as the diffusion profile. It can be found in rendering section. Next assign the profile to the material. If you see this message, click fix. Now let's take a closer look at the SSS profile. The first attribute is color, which allows you to define the transmission color. However, the white color doesn't represent true white. Instead, it gets multiplied by the skin color. Increasing the multiplier value enhances the subsurface effect. As you can see, the light transmission is stronger now. And next, let's select a color that's close to the skin tone. This is better. The index of refraction controls the amount of light that gets reflected. A smaller world scale results in more widespread surface scattering. This value is effective. Let's skip some of the attributes. The dual loop controls the roughness. The second value adjusts the main roughness. 
The first value just the level of detail. The loop mix controls the amount by which these loop values are blended. The next attribute soften the shadows. It also impacts other attributes. A high value can reduce the reality. In transmission mode, you can change the surface type. This setting has a subtle effect on the surface. If we view the model from this angle, we can see the light transmission, but changing the mode doesn't make a significant difference. The next setting adjusts the transmitting color, but it influences the opacity more than the color. What I mean is that a darker color results in lower opacity. The thickness remap affects the subsurface opacity, specifically in the areas at the back of the head. As you can see, this only affects the indirect lighting. Alright, let's make a final adjustments. So, how do we implement subsurface scattering in custom shaders? Now let's create an HDRP lit shader. Select the shader node. Next, select subsurface in the material tab to apply it to the material. Right click and search for the diffusion profile. Connect it to the subsurface input. However, we have an issue. It's not accessible in the inspector window. So I'll need to add a diffusion variable. Next, update the material shader. Here I can select the SSS profile. In the next step, I'll add the textures as variables. Connect it to the input and then sample to the node. Change the type of the normal sample 2D to normal. Now let's apply the textures.
The smoothness setting needs to be adjusted. Great, in the final step, let's duplicate this material for the other tiles. This result shows several differences compared to the initial shader. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Feel free to share your questions and ideas in the comments.